welcome to The Know. I'm Ashley Jenkins. Sorry, Gray is getting X-Ray and Vav ready for its launch on Thursday. I know his voice makes sweet, sweet honey out of science, but I'll do my non-run burgundy best. Anyway, science has bad news and good news for those hoping humanity follows a civilization beyond Earth's lead or interstellars or, you know what, just pick a sci-fi title out of a hat and that'll probably do just as well. The point I'm getting at is the good news is we might not even need to leave this solar system to find new planets. Well, celestial bodies that have that crucial life builder, water. The bad news is out of all the galaxies out there, only 10% may even be capable of supporting complex life. So. Let's start with the bad news. A pair of theoretical astrophysicists, Tzvi Peron at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem and Raul Jimenez at the University of Barcelona have proposed a likely apocalyptic scenario in which stellar explosions, commonly called gamma ray bursts, might sanitize entire systems, wiping out any life more complex than microbes. The astrophysicists arrived at their estimation of livable universe by looking at trends of the bursts, that the powerful ones occur mostly in star-forming regions with low levels of heavy elements, and looked at the average makeup and distribution of stars in our galaxy. Then they estimated the damage done to potential life in different parts of the galaxy by these bursts. Overall, they believe that most areas in the um, downtown central area of the universe are looking at a 95% chance of being hit with these blasts in the last billion years, and that life is really only possible in the outer regions as a result. Further, they say no life at all would have been possible in the first 5 billion years or so when all the galaxies would have been experiencing frequent blasts. Brian Thomas, a physicist at Washburn University of Topeka says, it's kind of surprising that we can have life only in 10% of galaxies and only after 5 billion years, but my overall overall impression is that they are probably right. That's not to say he thinks that all life down to microbes would be absolutely wiped out, but Piran insists it's not just microbes that are important here. He says, it's almost certain that bacteria and lower forms of life could survive such an event. But for more complex life, it would be like hitting a reset button, you'd have to start over from scratch. So that's the bad news. Well. That and that one of these blasts is theorized to be responsible for a certain mass extinction on Earth 450 million ish years ago. But the good news is we may not even need to look outside our nine planet solar club to find new places to settle in and get comfy. NASA has put forth a new theory that Jupiter's moon Europa, which has previously been written off as a frozen hunk of rock, might actually have a tidally heated liquid water ocean under that aloof exterior. And as we already know, water is the number one cannot skip element for developing life. Whether that ocean is capable of peeling materials away from solid rocks to mix up and foster life is another matter, but hey, water. The revelation comes from remastered Hubble images of the Ice Queen moon with a potentially soft and liquidy heart, which NASA has just released, though they've been reconsidering their initial judgment of the planet since February, when new analysis of Hubble's data indicated vapor plumes rising from the moon's surface. So 2010, the year we made contact, they were actually right on the ball. NASA is currently requesting public funding to plan a mission to Europa to investigate further. So, serious question time, would you live on a moon? Let us know in the comments. Remember, you get the best in video games, entertainment, and space right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you in the know.